Yo, what up YouTube gang? I'm Jay Pats and today we're gonna be breaking down how to make like a 90s boom bap style beat that I could hear someone like Busta Rhymes rapping on. And before you people come and say, oh, using a VST is sampling and blah, blah, blah. Be honest, I don't really care. I'm just saying not sampling and from scratch just by using VSTs and not actually using a song that's already been made and then reflip. So anyway, enough with the rant. Here's a preview of the beat. First, I'll show you how I made the melody and then re flip that into the actual track. Started with this Prophet. I just wanted there to be a lot of tension. Then I put this piano layer in there. Just super dark and low note. And then an atmosphere. And an organ. That I think just had a delay. Yeah, space delay on it. Full harmonic, what do we do? That you could hear Somatics Origin, free plugin, not sponsored, but cop that if you want. And then the Ilya Efimov guitar with Har Rig on it. Real simple, you could, yeah, no crazy chord progression, no wild sounds, just mad simple and a lot of tension. Then I just grouped the tracks together by clicking all of them and then doing group. And then I went to the group, made a new audio track, changed the input to in, and then I chose the input from the group, and then just armed that for recording. And that's what the melody sounds like once I recorded it to audio. And then what I did there is I basically just treated it as if I was flipping a sample. I put it into Serato and chopped it up. So you'll hear I actually put half time on it. So without half time. And then with half time, it just makes it way more grimy. So. Then I just duplicated that over and I added another layer and reversed it. So it's just like two textures that go really well together. So I'll show you the melody with both of those. Just makes it feel like there's so much more going on than there actually is, you know? Okay, and then for the verse part, we did this with the melody. Half time again, the reverse. All right, at that point, I liked the idea. I just wanted something dark and grimy. So I just went and added textures and textures really go a long way when you're making these beats. It just, I think most beats in general because they add like an atmosphere or a feeling or like some sort of vibe that you don't have when that's not there, you know? And it's not always something that's necessarily very noticeable, but it makes a difference in your beats when you have it. So put this texture in there from Arcade. So if you hear that, just lay it with it. Then I added this other texture. See, it's just like so random, but it fits really well with the beat. I wanted to make it super 90s boom bap, so I literally took a horn note, tuned it to C, and then just put quarter note delay on it, so. Just without the delay. And then with it. And then I turned on the ping pong. So what happens is it goes from side to side in your ears. So that was a dope effect. I think just add like a little bit of stereo feeling to the beat because a lot of boom bap stuff, since it was taken from vinyl, a lot of the time it can just be in mono. And sometimes you want that stereo width. So anyway, lastly, I added these strings that I always use. 
just one note the whole way through. And then for the horns, I actually froze them with the delay and then reversed it. So that sounds cool, like when it's fading back into the hook. But that's just why I did that. So the whole melody together sounds like this. Comes back to this on every video. It's literally just about sound selection and kind of just understanding the sound that you want to achieve. Like for me in the beginning, when I was showing you the melody, you saw that I was saying, okay, I'm trying to make a track with tension. Played a lot of notes like close to each other and just chose sounds that I think could be dark. So that's basically why I did that. Okay, so then I just did drums and what I started with was this like super boom bappy snare, so. All you need to do to achieve that is just put reverb on a boom bap snare and that's kind of how I got that sound. Timing's a little bit early on some of them, but for the most part, it's like pretty on. And then I did a kick, always with the ghost notes being a little bit more quiet there. But simple pattern, so kick and snare. And then here's a little hi-hat trick I'm gonna show you so that you don't need to go crazy with like velocities or everything. So I had this hi-hat, right? What I basically did is just copy it over two times. You could do it even more times if you want. And then I just changed the start point of it and then also the volume. So I brought the volume down and then down even more on that one. I just clicked in the MIDI and what that does is it adds the velocity and sound variation that you get with a real hi-hat without actually having to go super technical with it. To be honest, I haven't seen people really do this, so I thought it was a dope tip to give you guys. So this is how the hat sounds. So if you notice, I didn't even really have any velocity sensitivity because that was already happening from me duplicating and manipulating the sample. So then we just had this open hat and this is how the drums all sound together. Mad simple, yo. I be saying this every single video. It's literally simple as hell. Cats be asking me stuff like, how did you do that? Like, it's literally so straightforward and just not overthinking. So don't get in your head too much when you're making beats. All right, so next I just took a bass note, just like the strings. I just, I took my tuner and just saw it was hitting at C. And then I played a really simple bass line too. Yeah, bass is a little bit behind on some of the notes. I also delayed it over here, which I like to do pretty often, if not on every beat. Yeah, that's pretty much the whole beat. Now I'll just show you how I arranged it. All right, so the arrangement goes like this. Just four bar intro, eight bar hook, 16 bar verse, eight bar hook, 16 bar verse, eight bar hook, full bar outro. If you've started to notice or just watch my videos, like that's how most my boom bap beats are arranged. Sometimes I'll change where I start the verse compared to the hook, but for the most part, I keep saying this time and time again, you don't need to do anything crazy. It's just choose the right sound. So you could also notice, like I've been showing you, the hook's a little more busy and then it opens up for the verse part. So I'll show you what I mean by that. Hey, that just sounds like obvious to the rapper that, okay, I would want to come in here because it just feels super open. So I think it's important to have that differentiator when you have a hook in a verse. It's just kind of make it obvious that, okay, we're going into a verse, so let's let everything open up. At least that's how I like to think about it. Yeah, so that's pretty much how you make a classic 90s boom bap beat that I could hear someone like Busta Rhymes rapping on. And hopefully there was some helpful content in there that'll help you upgrade your beats. If you dig in the content, please hit the like button, the subscribe button, and the notification bell so that you don't miss another video from me. Really helps out the channel as I'm just trying to grow and share my knowledge with all of you. So thank you for tapping in. I'm Jay Pats. Peace.